morning everybody today we are heading down to Kawaguchi um, to do two ponds we're harvesting two ponds this morning um, both Nisai um, one pond um, high class special Nisai um, just left Mushigami village now we are with um, Ken Skate hey. from um, Chintro Koi Farm um, and we should be arriving in Kawaguchi in about 20 minutes We'll do a little bit of um, the shooting up where the road is as well. Um, show you some, how, how we get to some of these places, incredible. So stay tuned. Now in Kawaguchi. You can see up into the hills, the mountains and the bump ponds are up there. This is one of the few dedicated um, areas just for a mud pond. It's um, a man-made facility. Um, 14 ponds um, on one side and then the main pond on the other side, which will be harvested on the 18th. Um, the good thing about the dedicated sites is that there's power to them, there's drainage. Um, so it's very, very good to get these kind of places. Um, and Shintro Koi Farm have had these for around about 10 years now uh, with great results. The big pond is probably one of the largest in the area but that will be for the 18th. The road going up which is great, no problem. There's the big pond this way. Nice roads, easy. We've lost quite a few exhausts coming up this road. Today it's good, but when they start dropping the mud pond all the way, water comes flushing down these roads. It really is uh, tricky. So as we get to the top, Here is the number one mud pond, which we will be harvesting on the 18th, like I said. This, was, this started being emptied on the 10th of this month, so five days ago, um, and it'll just be slowly, slowly, every day they'll uh, drop it a little bit further, a little bit further. You do it in plenty of time, mainly just to stop the fish dressing out too much, if you drop it all at once. They, uh, they'll panic, uh, but now they can do it very slowly, so on the day that we go, it should be a quite an easy process. But as you can see, the water level does come right up to here. A great pond. road takes up to the small, um, well to the smaller mud ponds, I say small, but they're uh, actually quite large. They were bad mudslides in um, the, the season this year, um, June and July there was a lot of rain um, on the road that we went up previously to the big pond, they had to repair that in quite a lot of places, um, this one's not too bad but the rain just washed everything down, it was um, there's a lot of uh, repair work going on. You can see the new stone on the road.
be there. Ponds here are all um, part of Shitsrow Koi Farm. These are the sand side. Here is the Oyagoi, which are the parents. They are normally done last. As you can see, there's power here. So it really is it's an ideal spot. Before this area, these ponds used to belong to a, um, a hobbyist, an amateur, not a not a breeder. This was a, just a private person who grew all his fish in these ponds. Arrived now at the Nisai Pond. As you can see, it's empty. Emptying. And we will start harvesting once everybody arrives. There's already one visitor arrived, which is Mr. Gardner over there. Give us a wave, Mark. Um, you can see it on the Quality Nishigoi website, Mark, or the Facebook. What I'll do is I'll just flip this round so you can have a look at the fish swimming, won't be a So again, this pond's been dropping for probably about four days now, just slowly. Every pond's got a drain, which you can see there, and they just take the water down in slow steps. They also have the siphoning pipes and they'll be going down somewhere.
ってもうちょっとこっち行って、景色止まって、途中、そこから横切った。This is the bit where we hope one doesn't jump out. Then we have to re-net the pond. I say we. Oh, and one got out. Ken Ske. Two, two, two. Three, four, five. The best one always comes out last in tradition. So this is your customers too? Yep. So the Martin Haku already went out for an issue as customers koi. I don't think they're going to be disappointed, that's for sure. <laughs> Grown well. <laughs> so what size was it in spring? 35. So this koi was at the King's National Junior Koi Show in the 36 centimeter class, where we took a bronze prize. So since then grown nicely.
that's the first pond done. And Saito san checking the koi. You happy, Saito san? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Good. Very happy. Mm. Koi have come out excellent. So now what happens is this, um, this pond that has just been finished. Um, now what will happen is that they'll just drain that down now. Uh, this doesn't need any work doing to it whatsoever. So sometimes they do pack them, re redo them, and they whack it all the way around the sides. Maybe put some more clay there, but this one doesn't need anything. So now it's just going to be left empty um, and await for the snow to fill it back up again. Um, I'm not sure whether you'd be able to see it here, but if you look behind me from where we are here, maybe. Let me just try and zoom it. If I, can. I can't zoom it there. You can see a pond right in the background, just behind me, right in the centre. So, there. And that is the number one pond, which we saw earlier. That's a huge, huge pond. So, I'll just do a quick um, spin round. So you can see it from up here. There it is. And that is the one that we're doing on the 18th. So on to the next one. This next pond, perfect coast here. Yeah? yeah, perfect. Now this pond's been always been a tricky pond because of the pipe where the drainage pipe is. So you've got to get the net round there and it's a deep pond. So here we go. <laughs> Mr. Gardner. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently, we, we don't do this anymore. What do we do, Kensuke? We, we do this or something. Like it's a heart or something. Yeah. So what the, it's what the girls do now, apparently. Ah, okay. Go, 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 go. Well, what do they do? The girls make a, a heart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this is new. This is, this is trendy, Tim. This is on trend. <laughs> well, I'll be doing it then. <laughs> well, you will. You've got yeah. a selfie stick. You've exactly. got to be doing that too. It's not, an ex it's not a selfie stick. It's an extension. Of. <laughs> For people who don't know Mark, that's Mark Gardner from Nishigoi Life. Check him out. I taught him how to use a camera. I'm very grateful. My whole career is thanks to Tim. Yeah. So that's it. Two harvest done. Now to get the fish back to the fish house. Get them out there and then we can have a really good look at them.
now we'll make our way back to Mushigami village um, to unload the koi and we can have a much better look at them there um, inspect them and take a few pictures there looks to be some superb fish come out of there so there should be some great pictures coming up back down the road back at the Shinstro facility um, so now they're gonna get the koi out pretty much grade them um, so you can and then Saito can have a look at what he's got so I just know what he said Okay guys, that's it. Harvest over. Get the bowls cleared up. Let Mark finish taking his pictures. And what I'll do is I'll um, go back into the koi house. Now the place is starting to look a little bit full. I will pan down and do a proper, I'll switch it round in a minute. But yeah, successful. Um, when you're looking at fish that have probably grown at least, some of them probably 25 cm's in a season, um, which is excellent. But it's not just about the length with these ones, it's the body shape on them. And the bodies are huge, absolutely massive. And you'll see that um, on the video later when I put the, the, you know, absolutely amazing body shape. So it's not all about the length. We need them to develop into, into a good bodied fish and each different mud pond, believe it or not, can do it differently. So some koi, um, the breeder will see and think, ah, I'll put it in that pond because this one might need more body on it and stuff like that. Um, but they really, really have come on so well, as you'll see in this video. But um, yeah, bodies are absolutely excellent. Let me just flip it around so I'll show you around. So these are all Nissan. Everything in here is 18 months old. One more coming in. Great offset maritime. So some of these, so some of these in here are already sold, which um, we've got from customers growing on. Um, some of them are ours, so and the customers will be very happy. This pond's still empty. This is for the bigger koi, the Sansai, which come out next week. In here again, Nisai. Some sold, sold for sale. We'll probably go through these in a couple of days. Over here again the same, more Nisa. I said there's only been Nisa harvested so far. This pond's a sole pond. There's three of our koi in there already. I'm sure a few more will be added to that. So yeah, that was the Shinshro Nisai harvest complete. I'm very happy. Well, he is anyway. Some absolutely superb fish. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, really. There's a lot more Nisai to come in. A lot more bigger fish as well. The jumbo harvest next week will be excellent. Um, but yeah, I will leave you with that. Some super fish. Let me know if you enjoy it. Cheers.